back to Career Jam. We're on to our segment, Career Soup. And now we have Sasha Manuel of StyleManila.com. We also have uh, Rocky Lip and, of course, uh, Gerard Bilal yeah. from TDS. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about BPO fashion. First of all, okay. BPO fashion, it, nakikita, you're just talking, how did this happen? Well, that's exactly a good question. They don't see you, oh, but mm -hmm. clients do. Mm -hmm. Clients see you every day, right? And the clients are the ones who are going to tell your customers, okay, we have people who are... Uh, Prepared, responsible, highly qualified people that can do this job for you because it's a business process outsourcing. So they can do this for you. And then when, when those people do the client visits and the, the site visits, and then they see that the highly qualified, prepared people look like they're about to go to bed. Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks a lot better. Yeah. Example. I'm <laughs> prepared. I'm <laughs> prepared, John. <laughs> First of all, really quick. Um, when you say client, um, when clients visit, uh, for just the people who are watching, it never doesn't well, don't, don't know what that means. For, for contact centers, they have clients that visit them. So let's say, for instance, um, you, that the company has a client with uh, uh, X company, yeah. right? And for a call center or a contact center to be able to get them, the clients do, do they, they visit the company itself, the contact center itself. Yeah. And most often than not, they visit the site and they visit it at the time where the agents are taking in calls. I see. So they get to see them firsthand how they take calls. Um, Their how they sound yeah. like, how okay. what they sound like, what they you know how they behave, the structure, the organizational development of that company. Okay. So, so what a pitch, basically. Yeah. This, is, this is our this is our company. Exactly. Yeah. The clients visit. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. And if they like it, exactly. yeah. then they will yeah. sign up for the contract. That's a, that's certainly a consideration. To, to, you know, signing up to that. Ah, I see. Uh, so they look at them, they sign up to them. Or like a chinel. Like a chinel. Like a chinel. So, yeah. it's a, I remember back then, um, before clients would actually visit, mm -hmm. uh, we'd get an email mm -hmm. from our team leads or team managers mm -hmm. or something like that. They'd say, guys, we need to dress good, look yes. good, feel good. So mm -hmm. um, clients would be visiting, you know, please be at our best, yes. as always, yes. of course, um, because clients will be coming in. Yeah. Dress good, look good to feel good. Sasha, I'm sure some people just look good to feel good. I just dress whatever I want. Does it make a difference? Dressing? Well, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because, like um, most of my friends would say, uh, the reason why they dress up uh, is, you know, what the mood is. Yes. So, if, for example, you're happy, you can wear a yeah. outfit. Yeah. Or yeah. if you're not in a good mood, you wear like the brunch kind of thing. Does it affect performance? Do you see, based, on, based on what you've seen? I think, I, I believe it does. Because yeah. if you if you look sloppy, it kind of generally means your mood is, I'm tired and I really don't want to be doing this, I'm sleepy, I don't feel like working. And the mood just doesn't get any better if you, yeah, it doesn't. So if you're making calls in like graveyard shift and you're dressed up like you're about to go to bed, you're going to sound like you're about to go to bed. Yeah. But, okay. So dress better, if all if everyone dressed better within the company, this whole company would have better performance or well. It's a smart casual. It's smart casual. Uh, it's just that for one thing, uh, it would be best if she would actually wear um, kind of like a jacket. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because for one thing, if you're working in the call center, it's really cool. Sure, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. To maintain all the computers and the equipment, it's really cool. So Freezing. Yeah, free. So, you know, being, wearing, you know, bearing your arms might not be, you know, a shawl maybe or a wrap. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, either a shawl or a jacket. Yeah. Or Okay, and uh, we have something now, something that you could probably wear for the job interview. So, um, uh, there's a try something on. Let's see what's your first Yeah, we asked her to wear a white jacket. Mm -hmm. right. You know, it's like to show some bit of personality mm -hmm. and right. some color. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, is that something? It's it, good. It, it's it, good. like, it, yeah, it's like way better because it has, it shows style and personality and it just, it covers the arms so it doesn't really distract the interviewer so much with you know too much skin and uh, it, it adds contrast as well mm -hmm. and it kind of adds the now the now the outfit kind of ties up to being a little 
more corporate. I think more corporate. Yeah. So if this is an interview thumbs up, so to speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is like well, maybe English English. Oh, English. Of course, English. Well, 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 English. Some of the, some of the men go that way. They 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 tend to be more laid back. They they tend to want to brag to their friends like I earned this much, but I get to wear this to work. Yes. On the other side, the, the women have become more fashion savvy. They're more like I'm going to wear this to work. You know, I'm going to buy the good shoes. I'm going to wear the boots and the fringes and, and the shorts and the wraps and all of that. And suddenly they become more experimental. Yeah, so it feels good yeah. to be able to buy all those things also, sure, coming that's from like that's important. About, that feels nice. That's a huge factor to how BPO fashion moves really mm -hmm. along. I don't know if you guys notice it, but if if, a, if an agent goes through a promotion, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. all the way from an agent to maybe a subject matter expert or something mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. or even a trainer, all of a sudden you get a 180 degree turn on that guy and then you see him wearing what suits. Mm -hmm. Not just the suit, but a uh, you know pair of slacks and then a uh, very yeah, nice, yeah, yeah, nice yeah. definitely the corporate near the corporate fashion has touched him in some way. That's Sasha, yeah. how has the video industry affected fashion? Well, um, one of the things that I noticed is um, that you know since a lot of the young people are starting to dress up more, mm -hmm. and uh, the the it's the guys. The guys dress up better. I really? see them like sporting different kinds of accessories, like hats, shirts, oh, yeah. yeah. cards. Yeah, and they've started to wear pink. <laughs> they've started oh, yeah. to wear pink. <laughs> That's a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, because you know how Filipinos dress. Yes. We're, we're the t-shirt and jeans country. Mm -hmm. And now they are aware of the better shoes, yeah. leather shoes, like the slacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Different kinds of shirts and shorts. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yes, which mm -hmm. is a good helps the market. Really quick, then, what, what does this say? If, if you were oh, in the PPO, what does this oh, no, That's a casual <laughs> Friday. Yeah, that's a casual Friday. Graveyard shift Friday. <laughs> Friday. Graveyard shift. Graveyard shift Friday. Yeah. Yeah. With matching iPads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the swagger about it. Uh, so yeah. I really yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have to change that. <laughs> While the standard of um, dressing in the workplace has changed to a more casual tone. Yeah. The standard of dressing for job interviews have not. Okay. Okay. It's yes. still you're still dressed to impress. You're dressed. still dressed to manifest preparedness or preparation or you know, initiative or whatever. Sell yourself. So you're, you're selling yourself to the company. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. So if you can dress up like that means the company so you know bought you already. And if you're wondering if you did everything right, okay, yeah. maybe Maybe, yeah, maybe that, that's one factor. Because the first impression of the interviewer really uh, matters. Even if you had a really good interview, but then you have yeah. all the qualifications, but in first impression, yeah. you're like, probably not. Yeah. Really. Okay, so good. And how do you maintain your style within really quick slash? How do you still get your style? You don't want to fall into like the basic. Yeah, well, so you can't stand. I grew up in a very traditional, like during the hiring process, like when I first came, you know, interview. It's the usual flat. You can't veer away from what is what the society is saying. It is the culture for. It is. But I love that. But you know, since I'm very much a rebel and stuff like that. Uh, I, I have to add something. It's, mm -hmm. it's it can be the accessory, but I won't go so far as using mm -hmm. it in an interview. Mm -hmm. You get the job. Yeah, exactly. Um, but you know, in certain interesting pieces, like talking pieces, right. statements mm -hmm. that somehow shows who you are, your your passion. It can be like a uh, top that's like just funky design and mm -hmm. color. It's not offensive, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you have this smart blazer. Yeah, exactly, a tailored blazer. Yeah. yeah. Um, or like the usual Chevrolet power suits. Wear power suits. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you if know, there's one yeah, thing that I would recommend that girls mm -hmm. own a power suit. Oh, yeah. Skirt, 
Yeah. Please balance it out once you have to do it. Exactly. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you well. Rocky, <laughs> Sasha. We really, really appreciate it. There you guys are. Okay. Okay, we're gonna move on to more within the show, but thank you so much for making time for us. We had a great time. Thank you. Thank you guys. We'll be right back.